I did also have another little small problem. And I put my timing cover on. Sorry about that. There. Um, I actually left a little spot out there on my paint job. So I don't know why I what happened. Anyway, I'll have to mask that off and paint it somehow. So I'm going to paint this timing cover. Uh, this timing cover, it's a C8, so that's a 68 timing cover. It's, it's an okay shape. Huh? So it looks like it was powder coated at one time. There's a lot of pitting on it, but it wasn't leaking before. And uh, these new ones are pretty darn expensive if you don't buy a cheap knockoff. The cheap knockoffs, the holes don't line up, they leak, all kinds of problems. Uh, I also measured the uh, clearance between that fuel pump eccentric and the back of the timing cover. Um, you just measure it to the side right there, like that. And I had about uh, 70 thousandths, and that's without a gasket. So uh, I'll have to check, and, but I think I'm good on that. And also, let me flip the engine over first. So I read somewhere uh, with this the double timing chain that you should not use this oil slinger on the crankshaft because it'll rub. And the picture they showed, yeah, it was awful, awful close, but it seems to me I have a lot of clearance there. I don't see how that could hit that chain whatsoever. Uh, my only concern is that it's close to the back of the timing cover. Pretty close on the back side, but I'm guessing the other one was just as close. So I'll have to put my uh, I'll put my front seal on, and then measure it and see what kind of gap I have because I definitely don't want that to rub. And I have uh, these early covers. The seal comes in from the back side, which is a pain because if you need to replace that seal, the timing cover has to come off. The newer ones it pops in the front. So. I set my uh, timing cover back on. Uh, with the gasket, and uh, I always hated um, how these Ford gaskets stick out past the cover. I think it looks really, really cheesy. Uh, it's just flapping in the breeze, and then once they start getting wet and oily, they just you know curl up, and they look terrible. So I marked it with a sharpie so I can trim it. I'm pretty sure that it's big, just to give it some like uh, some stiffness when you're putting it on because otherwise it's going to be very, very thin, but I don't care about that. I'll just take my time and use some adhesive to put it on there. Um, probably put it on the cover itself and then put it on the block. But I think what I'll do, I've marked it with a Sharpie where I can cut it out. I think what I'll do is, you know, this is the area that I missed in there. So just, I'm going to take this, uh, take the paper gasket back out of there, uh, trim it, and then I'm going to put the cover back on without a gasket and just use that as a template to paint. So this thing needs to be painted anyway. Uh, and then I'll just, it should look really nice instead of you know, trying to use some blue tape to cut around, I'll just paint right up to it. Now if I have to clean it up with a razor blade. Uh, so what, it'll, it'll look, should look pretty nice. And I don't want to paint just over the gasket. I don't like the way that looks, where it looks like somebody just spray painted the entire engine when they're done. So. But it just it sticks out all over the place. It just looks just looks really cheesy. And it's a place for dirt and stuff to hide when you're trying to clean the engine to make it look nice. It's just, ugh. just okay. Anyway, so it looks like I have some plenty of room there with my my oil slinger. So I would say it's about a hundred a hundred thousandths or something. So all right. Uh, I finished uh, finished touching up that area that I missed on the front there. Uh, kind of hard to see in there. It was hard to paint in there too. And I just put a trash bag over the over the engine and then cut off the front of it and just taped around. So it was pretty easy. And uh, I was just doing a little spot painting. So there you can see it. So I'll trim my gasket. 
came out pretty good. So let me take it off and I'll show you the rest. Okay. Uh, I think next I'm gonna uh, just check the, the degree, degree my time, my cam, just because I can. I don't know. Just uh, waiting on my head bolts. So I can't put the heads on yet. So.